Hi, I'm that Astro Chap, and thanks for joining me on my channel. This is the first video I'm making, which is to do with an imaging session, um, rather than just image processing workflows or anything related to that. So hopefully you'll find this one interesting as well. Um, for today, or tonight specifically, my plan is to photograph one of the most famous nebulas that circulates around on the internet, um, which is also situated in one of the most famous constellations, the constellation Orion. So within the constellation Orion, you've got Orion's sword that hangs down off the belt. And within that sword, you'll find Orion's nebula. And that's exactly what I'm going to be imaging for tonight. So my plan is to get the telescope out as soon as I possibly can, get everything set up um, and make sure that everything's balanced. And then I can perform a polar alignment as soon as it's dark enough. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to try and capture a decent number of subs, um, somewhere between sort of three and five hours worth uh, of varying different length exposures. So the, the Orion Nebula has a huge amount of dynamic range. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect a number of subs in the 60 second exposure bracket. And then I will also do some probably in the two to three minute exposure bracket as well. And hopefully one night should be enough to produce a pretty decent quality image given it's already a bright nebula. But if I need to, then I'll do another night of imaging, um, assuming I get some clear weather uh, in the coming days. So that's the plan. I'm going to jump to setting up the telescope now. So I've got the telescope out now, it's up and running and it's capturing data on Orion. I'm going to let it run throughout the entirety of the night because it's going to be clear the whole night. And then what I'm going to do tomorrow is I've just checked the weather and it looks like there's going to be a few hours uh, in the sort of early evening which are going to be clear as well. So I might be able to get another couple hours of data in there as well. So that's the plan, I'm going to let it run um, and then I will check the data in the morning, capture some flat frames uh, and some dark flats and then I will repeat for the following night. Um, so my plan is, once I've got all of that data, I will pop into PixInsight, uh, process it, and then share the results with you. Alright, so it's very, very cold this morning, but I managed to get the telescope out again last night. There it is. And hopefully got some data. It was pretty cloudy, but... Um, I think I managed to get a few hours worth, we'll see. Um, but what I'm going to do is it's, it's due to rain a bit later, so I'm going to actually just break down the telescope now, take it all apart, put it inside, and uh, and then go through the data and see what we've got. So, let's see. So, here we are in PixInsight, um, and this is after a couple of nights of imaging, and I've got a decent amount of data. So the first night uh, was definitely a better better night and a lot clearer, but I did manage to get a decent amount of data across the two, uh, across a lot of different sub-exposure lengths, ranging from three minutes down to one, the bulk of it being in the one minute category. Um, and then if we look into the calibration uh, section, then what we'll see is I've got some dark files, so I took fresh darks to go with these, because I haven't done that for a while. And then um, I've also got the the calibration frames for the individual lights. So I've got the flats and the dark flats as well. So you can see how they all match up. And then I was just having a quick look and just seeing what an individual sub exposure looked like. So this is from the three minutes. Uh, and it's pretty good. Like you can make out the nebula, it's very recognizable. There's a there's a decent amount of detail in here. Uh, and it gave me a lot of hope in terms of the, the resulting image that I could stack. So with that, here is the final image I managed to gather. I hope you like it, and if you do, then please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll be putting out some more content like this in the near future. Thanks for watching.